this is Trisha Ping, the Books Page web editor. I'm here at BEA with Jocelyn Jackson, who's going to tell us a little bit about her books, Backseat Saints. Um, first of all, could you just do a quick summary of your book for those who haven't heard of it? Um, Backseat Saints is the story of a minor character from my first novel, Gods in Alabama. Um, it's not it's not a sequel, though. The, the two books kind of run concurrently. Mm -hmm. um, Backseat Saints begins when Rosemary Lolly drops a friend off at the airport, and um, there's a gypsy there who's actually someone connected to Rose's past who's been following her, so it's not really a chance meeting. And the gypsy tells Rose something that she already knows. I mean, she knows it's true, so when the gypsy says the words, it just sort of rings out in her like gospel. And what the gypsy tells her is that beautiful, abusive man he married is going to kill you unless you kill him first. And that sort of kickstarts the novel. She heads out to Wildcat Bluff to lay for her husband with her Poppy's old 45 pistol. Well, <laughs> prophecy and fate do play big roles in the novel. Do you believe in fate or gypsy fortune tellers? You know, no, I don't. Um, and I'm not sure the book believes in them either. Mm -hmm. I try to be respectful of my character's beliefs. You know, uh, Maribel, certainly is a character who believes very strongly in these things and Rose May is a Catholic and she believes very strongly in those things so whatever my character's belief systems are I try to respect them even if it's not a belief system I share. Okay. Um, all your work is set in the South. What do you think is the biggest misconception about uh, the Southerners? Um, oh my, well I guess it's that we don't read. Because <laughs> we do, we do read and we do write. I mean we're uh, being a you know being a southern writer, um, we have a long tradition of oral storytelling, mm -hmm. and I think that has served us pretty well when we've taken that over to writing. I mean, you, you can't argue with Flannery O'Connor; she's completely brilliant. Um, if Backseat Saints had a soundtrack, uh, name a couple of songs that might be on it. Oh my goodness, that's actually a really hard question for me because um, I I am not I don't like songs. My husband says I have no soul. I'm not a music person. I, I tend to, um, m much more of what I'm interested in comes, you know, when I write, I, I go to art museums and I look at, I look at, at paintings and expressions and that's, that's more where I tend to get my ideas. So is there something, a visual, a piece of visual art that well, um, to you? Yes, and I sure wish that I could tell you the name of the artist. It was a picture I saw, um, it was on tour, it was at the Atlanta Art Museum, but there there was a, a woman in a red dress, and she was kind of looking over her shoulder, and there was all these shadows in the picture, and she's very bright, as if she's been lit up with all this darkness behind her, and it was this very coy... You knew that this was a woman who was not letting everything show. You know, she had her back to the uh -huh. camera, and I, 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 I thought about that picture a lot when I was writing Rose. It sounds a lot like the cover of the book. It's yeah. So beautiful and like, oh, yeah. It's a little brighter than the painting you described. And the, the painting dress, was 1800s. The, you kind of know, so it was. Woman. But that cover, uh, Sig Harvey is the photographer who did that. I think she is astonishing, and she. She, you look at that cover with that woman in that attitude, you know, with the holding the braid of her yeah. own cut-off hair. That's yeah. Rose. She did a great job. A very strong cover. Well, and since we're at, here at BEA, what's your favorite thing about New York City? Have you had time to the discover theater. it yet? The yeah? theater, yeah. Okay. I, every time I come to New York, all I do is go to Half Press Tickets every day <laughs> and see what I can get a good seat to go see. It's so my favorite thing. It's the best theater in the world. What are you seeing? Uh, I, I haven't gone to... I haven't gone to... Because I'm at... Oh. I just got here, so um, let's see. I wanted to see. Oh, I wanted to, James Gandolfini was in a new play um, that I, I wanted to get up here for, and I think it's already closed. Um, last time I was here, I went and saw uh, the revival of Gypsy, which was wow. It was amazing. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you for having me. Thanks for inviting me.